Impeachment hearings were yesterday. <laughs> And while that was happening, I DoorDashed Chick-fil-A and ate it like a proud American because the impeachment hearing was a big nothing burger and I prefer chicken nuggets. Today, Brad Pitt is talking about some really juicy gossip with Adam Sandler, Sugarland's political statement on the CMA red carpet last night, and how Sarah Palin first learned she was getting divorced. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Sarah Palin says her husband Todd had his attorney tell her that he wanted a divorce over email. Okay, Boomer, it's good to know that no matter how old a guy gets, he's still not above leaving you on red. Are you kidding me? Don't you think that's a little childish? Adam Sandler and Brad Pitt just interviewed each other as part of Variety's Actors on Actors series. And during their conversation, Brad Pitt revealed such a cool story about Adam Sandler's past. So Brad said that when Adam was in college at NYU for acting, one of his professors asked if he could take him out for a beer. I'll bring the beers. They go to this bar and the professor very kindly said, think about something else. You have to choose another path. Basically, he was trying really nicely to just tell Adam that he didn't think he was a good actor. He didn't think that he was gonna be cut out for this. So years later, at the height of Adam Sandler's career, right after he had gotten his biggest payday, he's out with his friends and he runs into that very same professor. And Brad said, anyone else would have used this opportunity to rub it in their face, but not you. You said, hi, and you introduced him to your friends and you said, this is the only teacher to ever buy me a beer. Brad said, that's the guy I know, and I think that that's why you're here after all these years. Call me soft if you want to, homeboys, but I started balling. I started balling for real, I did. And big wins at the CMA Awards last night, Maren Morris took home Album of the Year with her first ever win. By the way, I concur. And I'm not a big country music fan, by the way, so if I say that something in country is good, it's good. Halsey was there, which I thought was so weird, but she was my pick for Best Dressed. And she sang with Lady Annabellum and snatched every wig in the audience. What if I never get back all the wasted words I told you? And one of the most talked about moments was Sugarland's Jennifer Nettles wearing a custom wage gap gown on the red carpet. And by custom, I think she just grabbed a Sharpie in the back of her limo and just started to write all over it right before she got there. You could have at least hired a designer to do it. I mean, the mice and Cinderella are gossiping about you in their group chat right now. And it isn't looking good. <laughs> oh, and the wage gap is feminism folklore. The game where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, Halle Berry's secret court papers reveal abuse, incest, racism, and more. Yikes. Pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Don't forget to subscribe to Turning Point USA's YouTube channel and ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss an episode.